three quick moves that you can do to warm up uh, before you start rolling. So um, a lot of instructors do a warm up for the class, but this is something that you can do maybe before class to help prevent injuries and really get you warmed up for Jiu Jitsu. So the first one, you can just use your belt. This one uh, warms up the shoulders and the rotator cuff. So all you're gonna do is fold your belt in half and then just go over, back and forth. As you start to loosen up, you can move your hands in a little bit further and that makes it a little bit more intense. All right, so we'll do this maybe 10 to 15 times. The other one you can do here is you're going to hold it a little bit further than shoulder width apart and make, you're going to try to make right angles with your elbows. So here, and then you come around. This one really works the shoulders very well, works the rotator cuff, it helps you get nice and loose. Obviously go the other way, same thing, 10 times each side is really good, okay? Next one you're going to do, really helps to loosen up the hamstrings if you're, uh, I mean, passer, spider guard player. The hamstrings are really important to keep loose. So, first one is you're gonna come into a lunge position, all right? And all you're gonna do is straighten and bend your leg. You wanna warm up dynamically. Before jiu-jitsu, you don't wanna hold positions in a static stretch. So on this one, you're gonna to try to straighten all the way. If it's too difficult, you can't do that, move your hands back a little bit. So it's back here, back and forth. If that's too easy, just move your hands up. Straighten, bend, okay? so. I do that maybe 10 times on each leg. The next one you can sequence right into is, uh, I call them hip circles and they really help loosen up the hip sockets, okay? So I got this one from Kelly Storette from Mobility Watt. What you're gonna do is put your hand on your foot, let your knee drop out to the side, and then you're gonna make circles in your hip. So I'm picking up my back knee here, and then making circles in my hip, kind of like in this motion here. All right, I do maybe 10 on each side, or 10 each way, so make sure you go both ways with the circles. And then I drop my elbow down, I look in to my leg, put my hand on top of my knee, and then same thing, 10 circles this way. Okay, the last one you can do is turn away, push the inside, kind of like a straight arm, push the inside of the knee out, back knee up, and then circles here. Really works those, the hip capsule very well. So we got the hamstrings, we got the hips, we got the shoulders, and the last thing is thoracic spine and neck. So for the, all our guard players, um, when you go inverted, obviously you get a lot of pressure stacked on your spine, so it's good always to warm up with um, this, this type of like shoulder roll. So all you do is just tuck one arm here, let your legs come around, and go to the other side. So. Make sure you go both ways. You can continuously go in one direction here, but just making sure that the thoracic spine, the neck, everything's nice and loose for jujitsu.